Hello, this is Boyd from Air Boyd, finishing up my week at CES 2020. I came across this uh, fantastic booth at the end of the week. It's the Xtal VR headset paired with the 6 Degrees of Freedom motion base. And as you can see, this is basically a home simulator. Well, they're, they're marketing it to the military, but it's something that would actually fit inside your home. Uh, a fraction of the size of a full-size motion simulator, and I have to tell you, it was incredibly fun to fly. This is actual footage from inside the headset. You uh, are able to fully move around. They have a hands-on throttle and stick platform, including a full feedback uh, joystick that's available. As you can see, as we come in here and turn around the burge and pull, there is a slight blacking out from the G-forces. And uh, if I had the audio left back up here, you'd also be able to hear some grunting, which will be explained later along with the G-suit. Uh, full visual acuity uh, you'll be able to use the controls inside they've also paired this up with a voice activated system so you can actually use the multi-function displays uh, like say you wanted to get a TACAM put in to land on an aircraft carrier you could actually say TACAM put in the frequency and it will do it for you without actually having to take the headset off or reach around for the mouse that's supplied in front of you Of course, one of my first questions was whether or not this would work with the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, and they said uh, they've been working with it. Um, anyone who's seen the preview of the Microsoft Flight Simulator knows that uh, it's just asking for a virtual reality system, and uh, blending something like this with that would be just incredible. So uh, I had the original x headset uh, back a year ago when Merrick and I were working together, and it was great back then. I mean, really, you know, cutting edge from what everything else was on the market. When he came down last week and brought me the new headset to try out, I'm spoiled. This thing is so good. I mean, it's just amazing with the 4K per eye. You know, the foveated rendering, just everything is just absolutely amazing. It really brings the whole entire simulation to the next generation, so to speak. You know, it just makes everything so much better. And coupling it with the motion platform, everything tweaked to work properly <coughs> together is just fabulous. It really is. All right, so you were just talking about the... Uh... I said as I was flying the jet as it pulled G's that I, I could actually hear someone. Yeah, you hear a pilot grunting in the back. So your G indicators in the bottom right corner of your heads up display. So you can watch as you're pulling in the turn. You can see how many G's you're pulling. You can't feel it because there's no centrifuge for this for this simulation yet. But so what we want to do is, you know, basically take like a Tesla suit or some haptic suit with a bladder inside and just kind of compress you reading the telemetry data from the G indicator. So it squeezes you harder for a training scenario. So you basically know your limits when you're pulling a turn. Because right now the screen's just kind of blacking you out, you know, you're just getting dark in your lenses. It's kind of hard to tell. If you have something giving you a physical feedback, that's going to tell you back off that stick a little bit around that turn and, you know, get you more in a, a quicker turn, especially in dogfighting scenarios. So you can get the edge on your enemy. So your target market is obviously the military, but uh, with the headset and everything else here and the, yeah. the preponderance now of home flight simulator enthusiasts, people building their own rigs and things oh, sure, like that, sure. how, how do you see this maybe evolving to the home use? Well, um, we do have a lesser model uh, of the 60OF platforms. We have a 7 degree of freedom platform as well that would be more scaled for home use. They're still expensive because this is a robust platform. It's considered more for you know an industrial application, you know, Army, Navy, which we are working on some projects together with uh, VR engineers now on some of that stuff. But, um, you know, scaling it down for home use, for people that can afford it, you can't get anything better. You know, especially if you're a flight simulator enthusiast. You know, like myself, having one of these in my home lab is just, it's, it's, it's unreal, you know. So I'm late for work a lot because I'm up all night flying. What's really cool is when I get on multiplayer and DCS and I'm flying in my plane, everybody's sitting at their desk, I'm in this thing. You know, so I'm just really getting such a huge experience. And it's funny, I'll tell people what I'm in, they're like, you, you're full of crap. There's no, no, I'm serious, check out my YouTube channel. Then they get back on the chat and they're like, wow, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, it's really super cool stuff. But, um, you know, theme parks, amusement centers, uh, you know, let's say you had an amusement center here in Las Vegas. You had 10 of these set up, five against five. You could have a blue team and a red team. These guys flying MiGs, these guys flying F-16s and F-18s. Pair them up together in multiplayer in a, you know, controlled environment. Uh, we could also take these things to do driving simulation as well, although flight is my forte, so that's what I'd like to see this work out to. So this is a 
great application for just entertainment purposes as well, not only for military applications. You want to plug your YouTube channel while you're at it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Check out our YouTube channel at 60 OF Motion. That's the name of the YouTube channel. Check out what we got on there. I will be uploading a lot more content here soon. And uh, yeah, just kind of keep up with us. And guys, anybody who wants to uh, get some really good flight at home, this is the way to go. Give me a shout. Get on my website, 60OFMotion.com. Fill out the info page. I'll give you a quote if you like. You can look at the other platforms I have. And if you just want to chat and ask questions, feel free to uh, just drop us a message. I'd love to talk to anybody. While most of us won't be able to afford a flight simulator like this in our house anytime soon, it does give a great view of uh, what is possible in the future and as pricing and electronics come down. Uh, obviously, a no motion version of this would be, let's call it about 50% off about the actual price of a full motion one. Uh, but uh, for those of you who do have the ability to purchase something like this, I don't think you could ask for a better home flight simulator experience out there. Uh, I was uh, very impressed with the, uh, the motion, the fluidness, the feedback, and pretty much everything else that came along with it. I've got links below to VR engineers with the Xtel headset. Six degrees of freedom motion and their impressive bases for uh, simulation. And I'll leave you here with basically some more of the raw footage from the helmet. Have a good week.